Hello friends, welcome back to Factory I Tutorials and as you know that in the previous video we have learned the rising and the falling edge functions. So in this video we are going to learn the assign function. So let's begin and uh, we simply make some changes in this logic and uh, we use the assign function. So in the extra we have the assign function okay so what we have to do we have to assign different values to the preset value bit of this counter as you can see we have given a fixed value to the counter but now we are going to use the assign function to give different values to the preset value Okay, so now I will move this numerical and this CV link also and connect this integer with the output of this assign and another output of this integer with the preset value okay so now we will use two numericals and connect both of them with this preset value so in the sources we have numerical and uh, we take two numericals and connect both of them okay so okay so now i take this bool also and uh, it is a source and i connect it with the input bit of this assign so now i set different values to the preset value the first one to 5 and the second one to 10. okay so what does this assign function do that when the input is off it will set so first i go on line okay so when the input is off it assigns the output with 5 and when it is on it assigns the output integer with the value 10 so it is simple when it is off it assigns the value 5 and uh, when it is on it assigns value 10 so in this way we can uh, manage or we can count different boxes and uh, in different situation if we want to count five boxes first and then 10 boxes then we can use this assign function so now we will connect the cv with another integer but different address not the same address as you can see over here we have this integer with the same address as the previous one so we have to change the address and uh, I click on it and uh, change the address to 1 so now I connect this CV with this integer and uh, one more thing that we have to reset the conveyor so at the output I reset I remove this link and connect the counter output with the reset we can also use OR function and uh, connect the multiple outputs to the reset. Okay, so I show you how to use it. The OR function for the multiple outputs. Okay, so
after I connect this first input and here we have connected the second input and the output will be reset so in this way we can use multiple outputs and uh, connect it with the reset one more thing that we can use another push button instead of this source by connecting another push button in the factory io so now let's begin and uh, when i press the push button as we have already set the preset value to 5 so when i press the push button the conveyor starts and it will count 5 boxes and the conveyor is stopped okay so when i stop the simulation and uh, turn on this source now it will count 10 boxes okay so now when i press the second push button it will reset the counter also and the conveyor so when i press it as you can see over here it has reset the counter to zero and the conveyor is already reset by this counter output so i hope you have understood and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video